we will on average have around about 70,000 thoughts every single day. Now that's a lot of things to be thinking about. What's worse is that 40% of those 70,000 thoughts tend to be negative and not useful instead of positive and uplifting. Are you the type of person who wakes up on a Monday and your first thought tends to be Mondays suck? A simple thought like hating Mondays can turn your day into a pretty shit one before it's even begun. And if you let that thought turn into a narrative, then that narrative can spiral into a negative one really quickly. And it eventually turns into a narrative that tells you that your life sucks. I know this because once upon a time, I was that person that thought their life sucked. Now that's not to say that I'm perfect and I never think a negative thought and I'm always positive. I'm human like we all are. And there will be times where the situation in front of you does actually suck. But the job at hand is to actually hit pause on that narrative that keeps telling you everything sucks and start turning it into one that's filled with perspective and opportunity. Positive people have negative thoughts. The only difference is that they don't let the negative thoughts consume them. Because at the end of the day, life isn't easy and you get to choose your hard. It's hard to take a risk and sometimes it's hard to stay positive. Sometimes it's hard to stay disciplined. Change in general is hard. And nobody is sitting here saying that it's easy. I know I'm definitely not, but we all have to start somewhere. We tend to self-sabotage when we let ourselves believe that we have all these worries in life. But what usually ends up happening is they don't even happen. Usually all worries are, are just made up stories that our imagination has formed to keep us living in the future or too far in the past. Instead of actually living in the moment that matters right now. What it all comes down to is living in the present moment because it's in the present moment that you can actually hit pause on the narrative that you've been telling yourself for way too long. Worrying about things that haven't even happened yet is just putting yourself through the same stress twice. And nobody's got time for that. Think about it like this. You're holding a glass of water. If you hold the glass for a minute, there's no problem. If you hold it for longer than an hour, there's gonna be this burning sensation in your arm. Hold it for a day and you'll feel like your arm's about to fall off. The actual weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer you hold it, the heavier it feels. The stress and worries in life are like this glass of water. Think about them a little bit, nothing happens. Think about them a bit longer and they begin to hurt. Think about them all day long. You'll feel paralyzed and incapable of doing anything. You'll never be happy if you keep holding on to things that are weighing you down. And if I've learned anything over the last couple of years, it's that there is always a lesson to be learned in any given situation, whether it's good or it's bad. Sometimes all you need to do is find the lesson and then let the rest of it go. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you don't like something, all you need to do is take away its only power, your attention. Sometimes things will go smoothly in life and sometimes unexpected things can happen. The important thing is knowing how to turn these problems into solutions rather than more problems. Your words shape your thoughts. Your thoughts shape your beliefs. Your beliefs form your actions and your actions will inevitably shape your reality. The most powerful people understand that it's actually their mind that creates the meaning behind every single experience because you quite literally are the architect of your own reality. So choose your words wisely because your words are the promises that you make to yourself and they may actually impact you a lot more than you first initially realized. Again, speaking from experience, nothing is more painful than being stuck somewhere where you no longer belong. And in the end, we only ever regret the things that we didn't do. And I don't know about you, but I think I would rather try and fail and know than to not try and never know. 
Because if you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if you don't try, well, you're never gonna know. Every single choice that you make in this present day is gonna lead you to either a future that inspires you or towards a past that limits you and every single opportunity that's waiting to present itself to you. It's choice, not chance, that determines your future. And our inner commitments we make to ourselves is what reflects our outer world. So at the end of the day, whatever you are not changing, you're actually choosing. So choose your heart and then choose what you've chosen. Choose your own narrative and choose yourself every single damn day.